What a powerful intro. Hello everybody, I am Leonardo, the Space Pianist, and today I want to give you a quick overview about LG Opus 3 No. 1 by Rachmaninoff. I will not go too much in detail, but I hope to inspire you to give a look to this beautiful jewel. Rachmaninoff wrote this composition when he was 19 years old, in 1892. And uh, it is uh, the first uh, of a series of uh, five pieces that uh, he dedicated to uh, his uh, compositions uh, teacher. And uh, we can say it's uh, the first uh, um, work uh, that uh, Rachmaninoff presented professionally. And uh, it was uh, deeply linked to this music also at the late stage of uh, his life. This composition has the influence of uh, Chopin and uh, it shares uh, partially the atmosphere of the nocturnes of uh, Chopin and uh, it's uh, somehow dark and very deep. I met this uh, piece when I was like 15 years old and uh, it uh, really hit me. I was uh, deeply touched by the um, beauty of uh, these notes. Of course, uh, it's uh, an early composition by Rachmaninoff, but we can uh, already see the seeds of uh, his uh, mastery. The structure of uh, this uh, composition is a classic ABA, like uh, Nocturne's Chopin's. And uh, it has uh, a strong uh, lyricism with a very beautiful melodies, and it starts in this way. And we can see that Rachmaninoff most likely was inspired by this Nocturne of Chopin, Nocturne Opus 27, number one. Besides the key difference in minor for Chopin, E flat minor for Rachmaninoff, we can see that the melody in the elegy of Rachmaninoff is on the weak beat. And this is a big difference with Chopin. So, for example, we have. This creates movement, creates expectation in who is listening. There is this very long melody, beautiful at the beginning, based on a pedal with a first grade, so E flat minor. And we go to the second part, that is in the major key, G flat major, and from the arpeggios, we have different figures. And the left hand is developing the melody. Here there is a moment of climax, which is amazing. And this moment of climax is connected to the part A that finishes with a coda. So we have a build up and we reach here.
now we have uh, an incredible moment. So here already we can see what uh, Rachmaninoff uh, will become uh, in the following years uh, and uh, is uh, really able to catch our attention, uh, to shake uh, our feelings and to create uh, a unique atmosphere that for sure uh, um, is inspired a lot uh, by Chopin, but uh, it is uh, the starting step uh, where uh, Rachmaninoff uh, started to build uh, his own uh, uh, personality in music. Just uh, to finish, the coda has uh, another uh, climax and it finishes in uh, a really powerful way and we have uh, this. Rachmaninoff put uh, his power. I hope that uh, this uh, quick uh, in depth uh, this uh, uh, fast analysis uh, of this beautiful jewel uh, inspired you if so go to listen uh, to this music uh, find uh, the music score play it uh, enjoy dive deep uh, in the, this beautiful notes if you liked this video hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and consider to follow me on instagram on twitch where uh, I stream regularly and see you to the next episode.